All right. So what we got here is the new T540 XP Mark III. I just uh, got it yesterday. And uh, I thought it would be nice to compare it to my old T540 Mark I. The Mark I was produced in 2013. I don't know if we can make that visible. 2013. And this was probably the first one to be sold commercially in the Netherlands. The first single 2540. And since it was developed here by uh, Van Bijsterveld, Paul and Hugo, it's probably the first one worldwide. Um, this one was produced in February 2023, a few months ago. And it's the second one of its kind to be sold commercially here in the Netherlands. So what do you get when you buy a saw like this? You get manuals in all kinds of languages. You get a wrench, scrunch, and you get this uh, other key wrench for loosening up the starter, etc. All right. So what does this saw sport in comparison to uh, the Mark One? The Mark One, 37.7 cc's. 2.4 horsepower, 1.8 kilowatts. The max power RPMs are 10,200. 3.9 kilograms, 19.4 meter per second. Max power chain speed and the max torque is 1.79 nanometers. The auto tune obviously is the Mark One or the first version. Both of the chainsaws support uh, an SP21G. Uh, 0.325 mini chain and bar si system uh, which is for the new Husqvarna obviously a Husqvarna chain and bar and for the older one I changed it out to the Oregon uh, bar and chain which is a similar size speed cut nano the length is a bit longer this is a 16 inch and this is a 12 inch all right the Mark III has a 3.9 cc engine instead of 37.7 so 39 it's a like one and a half cc is more uh, it's a 1.9 kilowatt engine instead of the 1.8 in the mark one it is 0 0.1 kilograms lighter at 3.8 max power chain speed is 20.2 meters per second instead of the 19.4 it has a max torque of 1.9 instead of 1.79 and it has the auto tune uh, mark 3 or third uh, type uh, which ensures no flooding so you can use this uh, nifty little choke lever it's the same place still but uh, this choke can be used with, with a hot engine as well without flooding the engine all right I will try it out tomorrow, so new video then. I'll show you what the differences are. This is the, the old one. See. And this is the new one. Now you can see the shape of the filter is completely changed. Much bigger. And the problem with these filters is every kind of crap that gets in here will get caught in these ribs over here. This one, this one is smooth. So hopefully less build up of stuff on the filter. Which means better performance. And it looks a whole lot smoother as well. Not much going on there, you see. Everything is nicely tucked away. And here you can see all kinds of wires and stuff crisscrossing everywhere so yeah the, the backs are the same layout 
you know, still the same kind of eyes. But the shape of the, the lid has been changed slightly. And I like it better on the Mark III. It just seems to fit nicely. Anyway, the shape of the sides. This is the Mark I, obviously. It does have a level, uh, fuel level uh, spotter, which the new one doesn't have. So I guess you have to open the tank or just let it die out. The starter is nice. It has a spring inside of it. And I like the the whole shape that it has. You can put a blue uh, or a Bluetooth a receiver in there for your fleet control systems. The lids are still the same for the fuel cap and the oil cap here. They haven't changed. Oh, maybe they have. This one is still the old one. Hmm. They seem to have changed that out. Okay. Uh, here we have the other side. It looks a bit roomier there where the engine is. If you look inside, see it's there's quite a lot of space in there. Whilst the Mark One, oh, it's just a bit more fill up. It's dirty. <laughs> so this one again is. Uh, come on, focus. This is, folk, this is uh, sporting a 16-inch bar, SP21G uh, variant, 1.1 groove, 0.325, low-profile chain. And this is what is delivered, called X-Precision nowadays, see, X-Precision. The pictures had a green label. And this is orange, so I don't know what happened there, but... Anyway, uh, start a stop button. Looks kind of the same. This is the old brake, you know, on the Mark One, Which is not entirely open. The Mark Three has it completely open. Maybe for visibility or something. I don't know. Maybe it's easier to look through it when, when cutting in weird angles. So. Second one ever sold commercially in the Netherlands. First one ever sold commercially in the Netherlands. And possibly even worldwide. This one still works. I've got it since 2013 and I've used it quite often. It still works. And this one, it never ran. It has never ever had its engine turned over yet. So tomorrow will be the day. You see it's it's completely clean. Not a spot on it. I don't even know if there's fuel in it. <laughs> I hope they did that. They probably did fill it up, but yeah, let's compare this to to each other, right? The bottom where you can adjust your uh, oil pump. There is a screw in there that you can turn around to uh, turn up the oil. But this one, for the persons who don't know where it is, has a nice little picture that says what to do. This one probably works exactly the same, but it doesn't have that nice picture, which I don't need. Spring, spring, design-wise it's still the same. I don't even know what that is, it's probably also a spring bearing mechanism. 
Hmm. I don't know what that little metal rod does, but it's there. It doesn't have it over here, or maybe I lost it over time or something, who knows. This is accessible from the outside, and this is not accessible from the outside. These can be opened up with several kinds of equipment, as are these. Yeah. So there we go. New saw, new fun. It's a lovely machine. Can't wait to try it out. Uh, options are not much changed from the first one but uh, sometimes it's the little things right updated uh, auto tune system and uh, the bluetooth equipment which is not in here yet so whenever it comes out i put the module in there and i can read everything out uh, through fleet systems which this doesn't have you have to plug it to into a computer at the shop to read out everything that you need to know. This one is Bluetooth, so that's that's a nice upgrade. Slightly stronger, slightly lighter, slightly more power RPMs in the wood, everything slightly better. And in combination with each other, hopefully a lot better experience. But this one has never let me down, by the way. I'll run it tomorrow. And hopefully I will get my computer to work to uh, edit a GoPro movie out of that. Because this is filmed on a telephone.